Wow, guys, we finally made it. The French River. Incredible. You ready? So, lover, where are we going? That's mine right there. Come on, lover. Get hot black. man in the world guys you married to such an incredible woman greatest gift on earth I tell you let the adventure begin You guys enjoy your swim. Thank you. A long ride. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. Starting today? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. My buddy just took our car and dropped us off, and uh, they'll pick us up in Killarney in a week or two weeks from now. Have fun. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Don't get in by a bear. <laughs> yeah. That's the goal. It is. Yeah. You guys take care. Thank you. Safe travels. Thank you. Couple actually. Oh, Let's go spot. around this point at the campsite. How far are you guys coming from? Uh, we just started at Otter Bay. So. Otter Bay, oh. where'd you put in? Just right over here, Otter Did Bay. Did you do that long road in? Yep. How is the conditions of the road? Good. Yeah? Yep. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Have a good night.
Heck am I going? So I slipped. I wasn't too sure if the portage is that way or this way. Wasn't paying attention, slipped on a rock. Now I'm kind of stuck. I could take my pack off and start from scratch and put it back on. But I feel like a turtle and I can't like get myself up. I am gonna try before Tunis gets here and laughs at me, but I wanted to let you guys know my situation. It might be buggy, but there's a big like pond a little. Don't know where we're gonna put our tent. So the first camp we went to did not have a flat spot to put the tent pad and it was just marshy almost everywhere. It was just wet. Second spot already has a better fire pit. And it just says there's a flat spot up here, so a little hike to go to bed. Oh heck yeah. Beautiful. It's not bad when you lay, when you lay this way. Mm -hmm. She's pretty flat. She might, yeah. lean, might lean a little bit, but it's pretty good for a rock. Yeah. I'm gonna rip it. I'm gonna get all the freaking dry wood. Burn! How'd you do fire holder? Burn! <laughs> Good. I think I think we'll be able to cook something on there. There's been lots of nice dry wood, eh? Tons of dry wood. Lots of jack pine everywhere. It's funny because it's so hot that it like we don't need the fire to stay warm. But we need to cook. Well we're camping, baby. That's true. Can't be camping without a campfire. Nope, nope, nope. That we gotta cook that steak. So good. And dry out. Yeah. Got a nice swim, eh? Nice and refreshing. Much needed. Eh? Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. It's Tunis. And, and my lover fish, Brittany. So we're all on the French River. Mm. It's our wedding anniversary tomorrow, so this is kind of a special trip mm. for us both. For 14 days, this trip will last. So it's the longest by time for us. We've done longer distances, but in terms of the time frame, 14 days is the longest we've ever done a canoe trip, so that's exciting. We're really looking forward to it, hoping to do lots of fishing. <laughs> we always say that. Yeah. Well, that's why happen this time. We want to be a voyager, so we're doing the classic voyager route, which is crazy to think these guys did it in a day. Who? What? The voyagers. Did they one could, a day. They could do the French River in a day. Us. So says l literature. Believe everything you read. Uh -huh. 
So yeah, so earlier on we had my best friend James take our vehicle. We met him in Sudbury, that's where he's from. Zero hugs. Yeah. See you, dude. Yeah. See you in 14 days. Yeah. Or 15 or 16. Oh, yeah. Thanks for driving. Oh, of course. Have fun. You guys will have a great time. Don't wreck Happy me. anniversary. Thanks. Oh. All right. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, we drove up here today. He took our car and took it back with him. And he's going to meet us in 14 days at Killarney. He's either going to store at Killarney Outfitters if he can't, uh, if he ends up having to be called in for work. He's also a paramedic. Or. He's just going to drive there and meet us if he's on his day off. So, yeah, pretty excited. Hoping to see some wildlife, do some stuff. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention. We already had A one. A couple bloopers. Yeah, sorry. So, yeah, already had some forgetfulness. So, uh, two things I forgot to do was I forgot to print off our um, permits. So always make sure you do that if you're in a provincial park. So I have, I just actually was able to take a snapchat on my phone before we departed. Had enough service to access my email. So I have a snapshot of where we're supposed to be staying. And then I also forgot our Garmin inReach that we just bought after my accident this year. So we made sure to bring small tools when we brought a hatchet, blah, blah, blah. But on the bigger water on Georgian Bay, things can always happen or you could slip and crack your head on the which has already slipped into the water. Yeah, I already slipped into the water, water today and almost smacked my head. So, anything can happen, so be careful. So Don't we're gonna do our- it's not gonna happen to you. <laughs> so we're gonna do our best here to not have an accident and be extra careful. Always be careful. So tonight we are having corn on the cob, baked potatoes, and we have a juicy steak in behind Loverfish there. So a nice, basically prime rib. It's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a juicy, juicy meal. So that'll be good. Had a good day today. Nothing too strenuous. I think we did about 12 kilometers of paddling at the very most. One portage, 300 meters, which is a blessing compared to what we're used to. And if you saw the last trip we did before this, a much different experience. Able to do a the single- The heat was still there though? That didn't yeah. change? Well, if anything, it was hotter. Because oh it was gosh, yeah. super sunny. It was more humid, which was to my surprise, but Able to single carry, was a breeze, beautiful set of falls, awesome, no complaints. And this whole trip, uh, from what I can remember, there's not really much portaging. Like it's gonna be less than 100 meters for most of them, so that's pretty sweet. Yeah. We've seen a couple motorboats, a couple other canoeists. We saw one couple who was probably, a couple in their 60s were out doing their thing. It's awesome to see, I don't wanna call them the elderly, but it's good to see people in all stages of life enjoying nature, especially this beautiful place. Ready. Ooh. 
looks really good. Unreal. Compliments to the chef. Oh, thank you. Really good to me. Can't wait for that fat. All right. Which beef you want? So basically, you steam the corn and its husk, and this one's done beautifully. I don't know if you can see the orange. Sorry, the yellow. Right, it basically steams it. So you have your corn on the cob. Campfire style with a nice prime rib steak. Oh boy. Mm -mm -mm. Which I hope is perfect. So, yeah. So we. Mm. Mm. Really good? Mm hmm. That's good corn. Lover's already confirmed mm. it's delicious. Love corn. It's just so delicious. Oh, your first bite of yours? Hmm? Oh, the first bite of yours? Mm-hmm. Mm. Butter. That's so good. Firewoman. Space in here with a bubba? Yeah. Oh man. Oh, I forgot to talk about bubba. Oh. Well, for those that didn't know, Bubba's not on this trip unfortunately. <laughs> I wish you could come, but we'll talk about it tomorrow, I guess. Okay, so we gotta make our bed now because we didn't set anything up. We didn't set anything up. Because we were hot and wet and hungry. Yep, so I set up all our stuff. And then it's bedtime guys, so I think we'll just end it here. End it here. Well whatever. End it here. Yeah. Okay, so me and Brick gonna set up bed and then go to bed. So we'll see you Brick. <coughs> oh bless you. Oh thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it was right on me, I would have probably tried to look a little <laughs> more normal. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna set up bed and go to bed guys. So we'll see you bright and early. Good night. Can I say good night? Good night. What? Good night. What? Good night. <laughs>